Hello everyone and welcome back to Feed the Beast. I keep forgetting to turn the music on or the sound on, but uh, there we go. Sound is on. So I've done quite a bit off camera. I've started breeding bees. I might as well keep doing this, uh, even though I already have the trade I want from them. Uh, I have been feeding Sinister Node after Sinister Node from uh, obelisks to our uh, current node. And we have 54 aspects. I've just added Luxuria to the group. Now I'm feeding it Talum for now. Uh, and then I've got some NVIDIA on me to feed to it. So all we are missing is Instrumentum and uh, Instrumentum and Aurum. Unfortunately, the pure node that had Aurum on it I wasn't thinking, and while I was spreading the magic forest biome, I put them over the farm, and the harvester ate the silver wood logs. So we lost our Aurum node, unfortunately. Uh, I have a bunch of nodes around here so that I can recharge my wands, so that I can bottle more obelisks and bring them here. Uh, I've got a pure node here, and... As you can see, the bees have been busy. Uh, I am. I have started working on magic bees, so those are all running. Uh, and this is for a project that I hope to share with you guys soon. Unfortunately, I need quite a bit more bees that are further down the line. Oh, hello. Whoa. Okay, I've been having a bit of problem with performance, uh, game performance lately. So I've got a whole bunch of genes now. Every species that's out here I have now. Uh, I've also gained the Fertility 4 trait, which is awesome. I have a Mortuous node here that's ready to be eaten whenever. And then, let's sleep the night away. Uh, I've been using a Staff of Traveling to get around a lot easier. Uh, it's easier to cross oceans with my falling ability if I can teleport myself back up into the sky without having to jump off of something. So, Staff of Traveling has come in quite handy. Uh, I accidentally put our golem down, so we'll be making something so that I can pick him back up. And then lastly, the automation room for processing everything from the laser drill. There is quite a substantial amount of things. So we'll wire this, or I think I'll wire this all off, off camera. I don't know. Maybe I'll record it in like time lapse it or something. Because, honestly, it is a massive, annoying project. I've made a whole bunch of item ducks and ender conduits for it, so that's nice. And now, what I want to work on is, so we'll get that, uh, we'll get the thing so I can move my golem. So, to move the golem, I need to make a golem answers bell which is a stick and four pieces of nether quartz. Where is my nether quartz? Oh, right, I moved it because I had a better spot for it. So we'll do this, this, and this. Boom, Golemancer's Bell. Scan it. Thing. And now all I have to do is zap him with it, and that picks him up. Perfect. So, we will now finish this infusion that I had planned for last time. I believe I have everything I need for it. Uh, let me double check. Golemancy. Uh, 
Alchemy Core, 15 Water, 15 Modus. Good. Good. And good. Okay. So we'll finish this up. And now I have flowers down here. That's lovely. I've also been adding to the stability of this thing by adding mob heads down below as I've collected them. So that's been going well. And we have ourselves our uh, alchemy core, which we can scan for aspects. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to upgrade him into an advanced golem. So I need another water jar, I need a brain, I need redstone, glowstone, gunpowder. Not too difficult. Today I'm going a little bit quickly because I have other stuff I really want to get to sooner rather than later. Uh, and unfortunately, all this stuff is stuff I promised I would do first. <laughs> Which, to be fair, I also need to get done, so it's not the worst thing in the world. I'm going to need one of you. And then I'm going to need six of you so that I can do this. And seven of you. All right, so that is five ingredients. So that's going to go like. That? I think that's the most stable way I can do this. Maybe not. Is this more stable? Hmm. I don't think so. I think this is the better option. Okay, then you... Nope, that's not what I wanted. Not that either. How do I do this? Right, shift, right click. Okay. You can forget about this. That's everything I needed? Yes. Okay, so then I need to give him Cognitio, Census, and Victus. I have quite a bit of Victus now. Well, not quite a bit, actually. Uh, I need eight of each. So, eight, check. Eight check and eight check. Now, if I'm not mistaken, oh, instability is minor. Fantastic. And we have ourselves an advanced Thaumium Golem. And he will be posed right here. And then all I have to do is give him his animation core. And apparently there was Precantatio in there. Interesting. And now all I have to do is give him his instructions. Where is he going? Oh, right, he's going to need a way up here.
There we go. Uh, I need to give him a way up onto these platforms. Which may just be a corner piece. So, marble. I still have marble. I need four pieces, and I need my chisel. Uh, marble pillar. That is not a chisel recipe. That is... It's a 6x6 six six recipe, isn't it? Or a 6 by or a 3 by 2 recipe. Yeah, marble pillars. That's okay. And that should let him get around. There we go. Lovely. So now I can put my chisel and bell away. The bell can go here. The chisel can go where it was. Fantastic. Okay. Now for the bees. What I wanted to do with the bees is I now want to start making genetic templates so template so we need to make a genetic template and then for that all I need is four tin four redstone and a diamond so there we go and I believe it was like this. Perfect. Genetic template. Can I scan you? I really hope I can, but I doubt that I actually can. Oh, I can. Okay. Uh, so, the genetic template right now is completely empty. So, what I need right now is I need to be able to get to a supernatural drone. So, Supernatural. So, to make Supernaturals, I have to breed a Charmed with an Enchanted. I have a Charmed and I have an Enchanted. That's the opposite. These are the Charmed. Those are the Enchanted. So, I would like... And let's sleep the night away. I would like to make an, a uh, new charmed drone. So we'll take the species enchanted. We'll take the, well, I guess we'll make a new enchanted then. Uh, we may as well take the tolerant flyer gene, the flowers gene, the fertility four gene, and the none effect. And all we have to do is add these to the template. So let's take our species. And unfortunately, that gets rid of our enchanted species sample. That's why I wanted to make sure that I had enchanteds still going so that I can get the sample again. Species enchanted. Fertility 4, which is why I have the wintry still going. Effect none. Basically, everybody has that. Flowers, flowers, that's fine. Tolerant flyer, true. And now I have a whole bunch of blank jeans that I can use again. And we'll have to use again. I should really upgrade this bow to be powered by electricity. Uh, so let's put these gene templates away. And now all I need to do is I need to take a princess and I need to implant it. I need to take a princess and a drone and feed them these genetic samples. So, 
First thing I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need labware. So let's get some of that. Cannot wait to have more diamonds. Genetics labware. Okie dokie. Uh, let's eat. And now I need two of these. So I'm gonna take a pristine unusual drone or a pristine unusual princess. And then I'm going to take a unusual drone. Which I believe I have several of the wild ones here. So there we go. So they should have the exact same traits that uh, aren't featured in this template. And this should give me an enchanted drone with all, or an enchanted princess with all of these traits. Boom. And we'll do the same with the drone. Although I suppose I don't really need the drone now that I think about it. Because I'm just going to breed it with the charmed anyway. Hmm. Whoops. Well, there you go. That's how you make a set if you were curious. <laughs> So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this new charmed drone away because I, like I said, or enchanted, like I said, I don't need it. I do have a supernatural already, but uh, that was an accident. I don't have a princess to go with it, so it doesn't matter. So now I'm going to take these soul frames, which increase the chance that the bee will mutate by 50% each time. So the chance is like... 9%, so 50% of 9, so it's an additional 4.5%, and then an additional half of that, uh, half of the total, and then another half of the total. So it boosts it up a little bit, but not as much as, there's no guarantee that I'll my bee will mutate. So let's put you all up in there, all up in there. Two of you. We'll take these two. Let's get everybody going again. And anybody who's familiar with uh, with magic bees probably knows what I'm going for here. But uh, that's going to be a surprise for everyone else. Let's go check on my sinister node since we're almost at time. And I'll tell you what I plan on doing next episode. So that's just feeding on Terra now. How far up did Tellum get? Uh, Tellum went up to 16. I think it was at 14. So it went up two points, which isn't spectacular, but the node was pale. So yeah, it wasn't able to replenish itself very much. So I got a whole bunch of nodes because I was planning to do a bulk recording and I didn't want to go node hunting in the middle of an episode. But uh, unfortunately, I do have to take a break between episodes here. So next time, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to work on a mutagen producer and a mutatron. So uh, let's pull those up right now so we can have a look at them after I'm done here. Okay, so, Muta, so I want a mutagen producer, which will allow me to produce mutagen to use in a mutatron. Oh, what's an advanced mutatron? Is there any benefit to the advanced mutatron? I'm sure there is. Recipe. Well, I have to make a mutatron to make it, so. And we'll probably, we'll go to the advanced one, because why not? 
So first thing we're going to have to make is we're going to have to make the mutagen producer because the mutatron requires that. And here's what the mutatron does. It uses power and mutagen to guarantee that the bees will crossbreed. And that's what I want to do basically. Uh, because I have quite a lot of crossbreeding to do and I don't want to rely solely on soul frames. Uh, especially if I want to guarantee that I get certain characteristics from said crossbred bees. So. Am I full up on everything now? Everything but Ordo, which I believe I can get from... Did I already drain you? I did. Hmm. I guess I'm out of order for now. Okay. Uh, so yeah, but that's going to do it for this one. So thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed all that fun stuff. As always, if you did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment. Any and all feedback is very much appreciated. And I do love hearing from you guys. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now. I've got some jeans to remake. Oh, okay, that's done. Okay, bye for real.